In the latest DLC, Bottom Dollar Bounties, you start by purchasing a bail office. Although there are five locations available, the cheapest one in Palito Bay is less desirable due to its remote location. Each office comes with agents that cost $750,000 each. These agents can generate about $5,000 apiece every 48 minutes. However, before they can begin earning, you need to assign them at no additional cost. The add-ons like personal quarters and gun locker offer little practical benefit, and the armor plating upgrade has a negligible impact on gameplay. Once you're set up, the DLC offers four different bounties to choose from. The highest paying bounty has a 24-hour cooldown, while the regular bounties have a cooldown of just 48 minutes, but only after you have completed all of them. A crucial gameplay mechanic is the non-lethal apprehension of bounties, Shooting a target's hand to force them to drop their weapon or using a stun gun is essential. Failure to do so and killing the bounty will result in a significant reduction in your payout. Once the mission begins, you can request your oppressor or any other vehicle that you like. Don't worry about the bail transporter. It will automatically spawn once you secure the target. This will still be effective even if you eliminate the target. And yes, it is possible to fail the mission. Furthermore, the dispatch missions require a police car, the cheapest of which costs around $3 million. Note that stealing a police car won't work for these missions. Additionally, you must not be registered as an MC or CEO, as these missions will not function under such registrations. Note that once you start a dispatch mission, you are free to go out and request your oppressor or any other vehicle you desire. Once you are in your purchased police car, you can start the mission. Each mission pays $25,000. And of course, there is a cooldown of 5 minutes between each mission. That is all. Thank you for watching.